Hey guys, in this video I'm going to demonstrate an RC low pass filter, how it's built and what you can expect to see um, on the oscilloscope of the output signal from the RC low pass filter. So, um, <clears throat> just real quick, this is the diagram of the RC low pass filter. It's composed of a single resistor and capacitor in this setup. And um, for this circuit, I'm going to use a 1K ohm resistor and a 10 nanofarad capacitor. And this is the formula to calculate the 3 dB cutoff point of the low pass filter. So, um, plugging in the values I chose 1K ohm um, resistor and a 10 nanofarad capacitor, this works out to a 3 dB cutoff point of approximately 15.9 K hertz. And this is the characteristics curve of a low pass filter you can see um, it passes low frequency signals with full gain until it reaches a certain point and this again is what you calculate from the from this formula where it declines 3 dB and in mathematical terms that's about um, 3 dB point represents about 0 0.7 volts of the peak amplitude that was um, that was before that was achieved before so at this point the signal declines 3 dB or it declines to 0 0.7 volts of the peak amplitude and um, as the frequency begins um, increases more and more the signal gain um, gets decreases more and more or you can say the signal attenuates more and more as the frequency gets higher. So this is um, this curve, right? Characteristic curve is representative of uh, low pass filtering. You'll see this in the oscilloscope. So um, this right here, we're we're inputting a sine wave signal into the RC low pass filter circuit. So you can see right here, it's composed of a 1K resistor and a 10 nanofarad capacitor and right now the function generator is at about 1.5 khertz approximately 1 khertz and this is the frequency signal you see so as we increase the frequency of the signal you can see the frequency increases let me adjust this Okay, so as I continue increasing the signal, now it's at 12, 13. You can see now the signal is attenuating more and more. It's getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller as the frequency increases. So right now I'm at 48K, now 44K, and you can see it's very small. So if I go back, before you could see what it was at before how uh, level this is at approximately 3k hertz what way before the 3db cutoff point so it's at full gain and then as we increase the frequency more and more you can see it gets smaller and smaller so the signals pass to output at this point is greatly attenuated and this is what a low pass filter does it it allows um, low frequency signals to go through and blocks or greatly attenuates um, high, frequency, high frequency signals and again you can set the point based on the values you choose of the resistor and capacitor um, as I said before this um, a 1k um, ohm resistor and a 10 nanofarad capacitor um, has a 3 dB cutoff point of around 15.9 kHz. So at 45 kHz, which is approximately what it's at now, it's way past that point. So you can see the signal is greatly attenuated. If I increase it even more, you can, you can now it's at approximately 600 kHz, and you can see it's practically nothing. So this is um, how a low pass filter works. The circuit specifically is a RC low pass filter and it um, it passes low frequency signals with full gain and 
greatly um, attenuates high frequency signals as you can see.